Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. This week you find us full of holes. What a nightmare that has just been getting in. Mm -hmm. So I've we've got the new merch come come through. I've got my brand new hoodie on. Literally, I've worn it once. I can't even show you. Look. Massive, massive hole. But luckily, someone was saying the other week, um, oh, do you never wash your jumpers? Have you only got one? I've got maybe 15 of these. Yeah, loads. Loads, absolutely loads of them. I'm so. not going to lie. You wear the same one because you love it. That's I love why. this one. This is one, the first one got to brought out when we first started. Yeah. I love it. It's thick, it's warm. It's got little pockets. And I was saying the other week, I never get holes in mine. In these brand new ones, I've never had an hole in them. First time I've said it and it happens. So we are in the northwest of England and we're in, it's a bit of a hall, isn't it? Yeah. It's a funny one, this one. It, it, I think it used to be a big man, a mansion at one time, just one single residence. But... Built in the 1820s? Yeah. And then redesigned in the 1870s. Something something like that. Very, very close to that. But yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. Now, I can't tell you what's happened this week because I just can't. But we've had a bit of a nightmare. I've had a bit of a nightmare. Say, the, the royal wing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've had a bit of a nightmare. You will hear me probably grunting and moving funny. That's because I've really hurt myself, but don't worry, I'm fine. So, next thing I need to let you know is, we've got a sponsored video. This video is sponsored. And it's sponsored by the amazing Manscaped, but we'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. So we're gonna get up, I'm gonna have a look around, see what yeah. we can find. Gosh, with my voice, it's really low, like Barry White. Yes. You do that sometimes, but then you go really high as well. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> yes. You like Churchill. You shall fight them on the... No, beach. wrong Churchill. I mean the fucking dog. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh. I thought we were original Churchill. <laughs> At least they were bald. What? Oh, yes. Was, was he? he? Yeah. Oh, did you have a comb over? No, he was still bald. Oh. Anyway, shut the fuck up. Let's get so in. So famous. <laughs> yeah. Well, very true. <laughs> Go on. So we're down in the cellars. And... This looks like all the old masonry. Have you seen this, Andy? I don't know. It's like st stone stairs. You know when you get the you get the bits on the bottom and then the bits that attach to it? Oh yeah. That's what it makes me think of, like really grand stone stairs. I don't know about you. Ugh, look at that mould. That is vile. Yeah, don't say it. Don't we say know. why. We should wear masks. Oh, yeah, we should wear masks. We're already... Right, I'm still wheezing from when we went to Scotland about two months ago, so I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, it's a bit spooky down here. Look at this. Now, I've got one of these in my cellar, but not as big as that, obviously. That's huge. You could stick a dead body on there, couldn't you? A couple. Yeah. Or one big fat person. <laughs> well, me, then. Is that what you're saying? That's the only way to say it. You don't you know, conclusions. <laughs> but yeah, I've got one like this. I'm guessing it's like cold meat storage and things like that. You reckoning? Or... I'm going to get full, full side of beef on here, what? Well, yeah, you would, but it's it depends. It's a big house, isn't it? Massive. So, Massive. I'm guessing. Oh, God, look at these. Another one in here. That like mini slab along there, look. Look at that pipe. Oh, that's a... That's huge. And it's it's not metal, that, is it? It's, no. um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Pot. <laughs> well, yeah, but I want to say porcelain, but that's wrong. What's the word? I don't know. Pan clay. You're not a clay pot. You don't smoke it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm... You know what? We get some rain stick for being thick. But I know all the answers. I just can't remember them when I actually speak. My mouth do not do what Baker light. It's not fucking Baker light. Um, not going to play a record on it. I don't know. It'll come to us in about 15 minutes. Yeah. When but, we stop thinking about it, it'll go, bing. I don't know what that is. Or when we're on his way home and we then we just look stupid for the rest of the video. Oh, look. Like, like in mine, there is a thing there for coal to come down. But then I don't understand why there's a table if there's coal. Like there is in mine, but why? Come on, Andy, answers. 
on a postcard. Yeah. I'm just thinking if that used to be like the old fireplace there, we'd be an arch, but I don't but think But mine's it is. got an archway like that as well. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's old in here. It's all, obviously all original because it's like flagged floors and this is all original. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Right, so we've just come out of that one. And there's this big metal door, massive. Well, it's not thick, but it's heavy, isn't it, for what it is? Well, it's it is. solid. Valuable stuff in there. Yeah, I wonder if you had your wine in here, maybe. Something you don't want people. Oh, I don't know, though, because look, it's got drains straight out of it. So they've got to have been doing something in here, like to wash, wash away wash down away. there. But what? Slaughtering. Well, you fucking bring your cow down here, yeah. kill it, and then take it next door. Yeah. You know what? You know what we're going to get? Because we get this on any place where we find little cellars. Somebody's going to say, it's where the paedophiles brought the children down to cut them up. We never said that with a bar yet. <laughs> we keep getting it, though. We keep getting the same people saying the same things. And I think they mean it. Does it look like there was a door there? Just move your torch off here and come stand back here. It's not really showing up on camera, but... No. No, but like, there, look. Lying down there. No. Well, fair enough. I don't think it has. Okay, I'll believe you. I'm just saying no. Just to, sh no. to shut me up? Yeah, or... I've not been on about fucking doors and arches and fucking fireplaces <laughs> for six hours. Because that's what we do. No, that's what you do. <laughs> and you have to put up with me. Look at that mould on there. Just because from one conversation to another. Look at the floor in here. That's a total change, isn't it? In fact, this room is big and dry for a cellar, isn't it? It's a funny room. Have you noticed all the ceilings as well? It's that stuff that you like blast on, you know, oh, to like make it dry. Uh, but I don't know what it's called. I don't need mold. That's what it looks like. Oh, fucking hell. It's all right, Patch. But yeah, we're definitely going to get all the black mould people. I love it. I think it looks beautiful somewhere. Look. Oh, it's, it's like a tree. Do you remember that advert? I want to be a like tree. tree. Oh, I want to be an individual. I don't remember that one. I can't remember what series that was from. Oh, is it from a TV programme? Not so. a... All right. Sorry. <laughs> what? For you, isn't it? What, 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 what? <gasps> Old fireplaces. Now, nah, it doesn't look very ornate, I'm not gonna lie, but I still love it. It's got a it's got a nice feel to it, that, hasn't it? You can imagine whoever worked for these people being down here, sat with a little chair next to it, warming their hands with fingerless gloves. It just makes me, me. want to, Yeah. <laughs> but and a little cupboard storage thing like that behind the lake, I mean. Oh 1998, these newspapers. Yeah. It has been added later, but I still think it's quite old. Yeah. Maybe 40s, 50s. Oh, look at them mould. Look at the scores on that. Breathe it in. It's like a wave. <laughs> Breathe it in, Andrew. <laughs> I could roll that up in a sink paper and smoke it. You, you do know that the amount of people that are going to be so angry with us now, they're going to be like, no, lungs, lungs. Get it. <laughs> look, listen, listen. Just gone, they've gone. <laughs> 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 oh, it's another one of these rooms though with a big what would this be? What were attached on there? Probably straight across. Yeah. I don't know what it were though. Big bench. Big Ben? Big bench. See that that could be like a sink. Oh these pipes that yeah. are attached. Yeah. Could be. God knows. Right, this bit is. Spooky now. What you don't see is I've got this massive torch that is quite powerful. I've only got it on 30% because it's so powerful. But if I start taking that away, it becomes quite spooky down here. There's a big metal door on here, look. They didn't want you getting through that at all. Like there the door's outside. But then why would you have? I'm stuck to stuck to somebody. It's stuck to me. Shut you up. <laughs> no, but why would you have a gate inside your door? That's some massive security, that isn't it? It is. Now there is another room that goes through here. Oh, 
I wonder if they wanted people to get in this room, like deliveries, but they didn't want them to go further that way. Why? Why then have a door around that side? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. This looks like all like boiler and everything and electrics and stuff in here, doesn't it? Yeah. At one point, but bricked up windows and not really very much in here. So why would you have that gate? That is that has bamboozled me. It really has. Bamboozled. Yeah. Oh, did you used to play bamboozled on CFAX? No. Do you remember CFAX? Yeah. You used to play games on CFAX. It was mint. If you're not English, you don't know what I'm talking about now, but... Like teletext. Yeah, teletext. And I can't remember the name of guy, but he looked like my dad on Bamboozled. If you know what I'm on about, comment down below. But yeah, that gate has really thrown me out. I don't understand it. Makes no sense. Up into the main building. Now, I know quite a chunk of this is destroyed, which is such a shame. From weathering by the looks of things, look at... The damp that's got in that's you know what that looks dangerous Andy. This here. Yeah. There's bricks at this side of it. So not good. Now we don't know all the history of this place, but it says classrooms and all departments. Now we are quite and look healthcare studies. S R H S A, I don't know what that could stand for. But we're quite near all the hospitals, aren't we? And Student the area. student hospitals, like the training, training places. Hospitals. So I'm reckoning they've probably used it for that. Look at this door. That doesn't fit. I mean, it does fit, you can shut it, but I mean, <laughs> no, I just mean it doesn't fit with the theme of what we've seen so far. Oh my God. Shift your big head. Look at that. Go and stand behind that, Andy, and shine a light at it. That is Crazy good. <gasps> now I love I love the noise Andy's just made around there, but I'll look in a minute. Shine at this then, I'm gonna study it for me own elf. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay then. We're gonna have a look in a minute then. <sighs> Can you shine it by just putting it behind it? Just put your hand behind it. Oh, look at colours, look at the greens and stuff in that. That's lovely. We'll have a look at it properly in a minute then. Right, so this is the door we've just come through that I said, oh yeah, it looks a bit too grand. Look at this. What's that say? Well before Hearth and Hall. I feel like I've heard that saying before. Something to do with Hearth and Hall. No idea, I haven't. And then look, they're over every single one. Small cheer and great welcome make a merry feast. That's nice. It's, it's all really nice. Wow. Look at this room now. With those windows and it, it would have been beautiful. Look at the ceilings as well. Oh, it's lovely. What are these ones? What do these ones say? Oh, this one says alternate rest and labor, long endure. And what's that say? When, when, when friends meet hearts warm. Oh, that's, that is lovely. That, lovely. Really lovely. Do you know what else you can do when uh, when you're with a friend? You know, like it was saying on there about where friends meet, hearts warm. Yeah. You can, when, when people are together that are good friends, they can shave together. And that brings us straight to our sponsors this week, which is Manscaped. <laughs> so let's just quickly go over and have a look at our little advert over there. See what Andy gets up to. Not a lot. So this week we're sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is an amazing company. It's a company that wanna look after your balls and mine. But it's not me that's having my balls shaved today. It's Andy. I'm not, lovely. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Let's get on with it. Let's go in the bathroom first. 
come with us. Now Manscaped have been amazing and given us a product or a couple of products to use. First of which is the Lawnmower 3.0. Now the Lawnmower 3.0 looks impressive because it looks like it could stick that somewhere. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not gonna. No. Shave it first. I just needed to get your kit off first there. Well, this bit of kit. Oh my lord. Why are we doing this? Um, you know what? It's just a lot of thick hair as well, isn't it? A lot of wiry hair. Ooh, if it gets through this, it can get through anything. Let's start up here. It's gliding through. I can't even feel that. That is really smooth. It's absolutely sliding through your hair though. No, you see, you see, you can hardly feel it. I can't feel anything. All I can feel is the vibration of it, that's it. Ooh. Your hair comes, like, it joins to your neck hair. That is vile. I'll give you a bit of a close-up. Right, that's it. We're about done. Looks pretty good. What do you mean, just about done? I'm finished here. Yeah. I just thought it looked quite good like that. I can I say as well, this is really good. You can have it in the water, it's waterproof. Get away. You can, it's waterproof. Brilliant. No! Ah. So you're happy with your new chest? New penis chest? It's but smooth. I'm not touching it. I've avoided what? touching it. No! You've got like a weird woman's pigeon chest. Okay. <laughs> you know that? I can actually. Look. <laughs> I used to be able to, I don't think I can anymore. Right. Go on, you left. We've done your chest, yeah. we've done your stomach. Time for the rest of it. So, how did you find the lawnmower 3.0 on them balls? Rather nice. To be fair, you are the hairiest man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but now it's nice and smooth. You need some of the ball toner reviver on there. Now you get things like this in the pack, which is amazing. Usually you just get your razor and that's it. But with this, you get a little bag, which is here, which is there to put all your stuff in. But also you get the ball toner and also the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. So, can you smell that? I'm gonna spray up your nose. Mm. Now, I don't know why you decided to leave all your clothes off, but actually it works quite well. How does that feel? Give it a rub. Get quite aroused. Don't get aroused next to me. So anyway, thank you very much for our sponsors. Really, really appreciated. Amazing product. It's so easy to do on you. It's so easy to shave. And it's so smooth. That's it's it. It's like doing it with a proper razor. And to shave somebody else is awkward. <laughs> so it's come out relatively well. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Stop it with those pecs. Anyway, we're off. But thank you very much once again. Make sure you get over onto their website. So it's manscaped.com and put in the code beepers to get 20% off. It'll help the channel, it'll help you guys out as well. It's really, really appreciated. Anyway, back to the video. Bye-bye. Right, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed that. We're just uh, heading into one of the lecture rooms. Now, it looks pretty much shagged. 
I'm not gonna lie, but look at that. That is beautiful. I like that. I like the base to it. You know that old glazed tile, the like the orangey, it's like they had on pubs. Yeah. It's the same sort of thing they had on pubs and I love them. I love tiles like that. I'd love to have a fireplace like that. I'd want the green ones though, me. Oh, I prefer the green shiny one. Yeah, really, really nice. I thought there was something on that side as well. Because they've got some... Oh, what do you mean? So much screwed on there. I thought oh. it might have been like lights or something. I wonder if it was some sort of bell there to ring for service or something like that. Because you often did have them near fireplaces. But yeah, you can see the modern tat in here that they were brought in in the like 70s, 80s, 90s compared with the, the grandeur of what this place was like to start with. Right, just heading back out into this area. What were that? Oh, is that just light switching in? Yeah. Look at these stairs though as well. Look at the banisters on it. Beautiful, and that, I, I like that, with the fruits on. It's great, it? grapes and oak leaves. Would you say that's an oak leaf? Pass. Just not up on anything. Anything, yeah. <laughs> you are, just not anything. Anything useful. interesting or useful <laughs> or intellectual, I'm not into anything. The only thing I'm into is like, get your slags. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that. Let's go in here. I haven't had a look in here yet. Wow. Oh my god, now that is a fireplace. I'm gonna start up a fire pre fire pre oh, fireplace. <laughs> fireplace fireplace appreciation site or something, yeah. Because that is absolutely unbelievable. What's that? Little room. What a little strange room office, that is. Would it be an office? I think it'd be a little office. Cloak room? Definitely office. And then this. It's just, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just I'm the whole room. I've been in here and spray paint all over and everything. Yeah. That would absolutely... Or just me. ripped it out. You know, like workmen, if they've been in it past and stuff and just yeah. ripped the whole lot out. It's awful when they do that. And you find piles of these smashed up. Yeah, it's terrible. It man. is. It's awful. But this is history. This is where it should belong. This should be... Well, this is the 1870s redesign, all this lot. That's who did the writing outside. I can't remember his name. And if I did, I wouldn't mention it because I think it'll make it quite easy to find this place. So I found it. Exactly how you found it. But yeah, just look at the ornate design in that. Like the craftsmanship, you don't get that at all anymore, do you? Do you know what I mean? So are you. I went like that. I went. Look down. And I sent myself all dizzy. <laughs> I had to stand and like focus, my, my eyes are gone. Oh God. Right, let's keep looking. There. Right, do you want to go through the door or do you want to go down the stairs? Oh, we're in here. Oh my cool. God. Now, nah, I love that face. I know that face. That face is a it's cheeky, much. excited face. <laughs> Bit of that six inch door. <laughs> oh, it's got a large way. Oh, get through then. Why is it the lights on in there or what? It's just reflection. Oh, is it? I thought the lights were on. There's a bloody door next to you. Get through it and we'll have a look. In dipstick. <laughs> it's all this wooden panel. You don't know what's what, do you? I know. Oh, even this though. I'm not even going to turn around yet, but look at this. These would have been like all the files and drawers. Look at these windows. Oh, it's a shame though, it's getting broken up. And that's lovely. Leaded, a leaded glass. Yeah. Oh shit. Don't fall through the floor. That does look a bit spongy. Oh, it's a shame that. It is. Look at, like I said, craftsmanship on everything is just wonderful. You just don't see it like this anymore. Even the details right up there that you're not really going to look at. Although, saying that, these lights wouldn't have been like that before, would they? No. So, you probably would have noticed it a lot more. But that is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look around, but I'm not going to show you yet. Wow, is all I'm going to say. Now, if, if I'm in love with fireplaces in the past, 
I'm definitely in love with this one. How good is this, Andy? Lovely, isn't it? It's really good. I can't Lovely light little. up your big head. I would say an ingle, but it's a massive ingle, but it's not. <laughs> it's not, because there's no seats. Yeah. Right, let me show you. Look at this. Look at this. How amazing is that? Look, oh, I love it even more now. Thistles in corner. Look at the fireplace. Oh, that's a shame though. Somebody's been at it with you. Um, they've been trying to nick the tiles, haven't they? Yeah. You know what? Tiles like this are worth a fortune. Look, they're all down there as it would have been. But somebody's been digging at it, trying to get them off and they'll sell them on eBay individually. And they're worth a fortune. More of those windows. Look at the ceiling. Oh, excuse what, me. What was that? I thought you were just overexcited about it then. Oh, there's the curtains on it, look. There's oh, curtain, yeah. a curtain rail. But yeah, it's like gilded ceilings. I don't know if it's actual metal or gilded. I, I can't reach up to touch. My arms are killing as it is. But Looks like it, looks like, oh, I don't know. I can't work it. Right, those, those because yeah. they're like peacocks, make me think of India. That makes me think of India. Yeah. But then the thistles obviously make you think of Scotland. And the dark, thick wood makes you think of England. Right, mismatch, isn't it? It really, really is. Right, I'm just going to go back through that door again so you can shine light on those windows for me. Right, so Andy's in there looking all... Mysterious. You could just see red. That were all I could see. Right, shine it on there. Oh, look at the colours on that. That is beautiful. I, I would love to take some of these things at home and put them in my house. Not that I'd got anywhere to put them in my house. No, but nice to have them on, on like a wall. Yeah, just backlit. Yeah. You could put them like in a box light, couldn't you? Yeah. That'd just be brill. But they're going to get destroyed. I know they are. It's yeah. such a shame. I hate it. A lot of this is going to get just destroyed. Yeah, it? ripped out. Because there's no way they're going to keep up. Unless they turn it into something like a hotel. And this is a feature project that they do on it. Yeah. They're just going to rip it out. And it's going to be a, a square boxy room with no features. I'm and it'd be... that convert it into student accommodation again. Because loads of it around here, isn't it? Well, yeah, true. Yeah, but can you imagine students in here? Oh, God. They'll just piss all over it, won't they? <laughs> They don't piss all off her. No, they get, they're, they're going to uni for a bit of a jolly. And half of them come out of uni and go and work at McDonald's. It's just, I, I don't it's, think it's e as easy these days, though, for students. I know there's lots of jobs out there, but there's also a lot of people going to university and a lot of like competition to get into the good jobs. True. Like, in the past, it used to be, like... One person in hundred went to university, and all others just went down pit. Yeah. So, but it's not like that now. And I said, "Oh, I'm having a gap year. I'm tired." I'm <laughs> I, I can't say. Oh, I've been persuading my daughter to have a gap year. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, it's like get a job. Stop being horrible. Well, she's going to go and do a gap year looking after animals in Africa. Well, that's what I want her to do anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go and work at McDonald's so I get some freebies. <laughs> right, you get one meal a day and by about a month working there you ate it. Because all my friends used to work in McDonald's apart from me because mummy used to look after me. I wouldn't but, work at McDonald's. No, I couldn't. Smell her it, it'd be on you all the time. Anyway. I enjoy my McDonald's like three times a week now. I can't be doing it five times a week. But it'd put you off. You wouldn't want it anymore. Smell her it constantly on you. Like when I used to work in bakery, loved it. Went off bread. Yeah, really? Yeah. Round it all day, aren't you? Just going back to what we've actually come to see, rather than talking about McDonald's and bread, mm -hmm. those lights are horrible. Spons Why have they put them shit lights in here? Why three? It's not that big a room, is it? <laughs> the, do there might have been three lights in there originally, and there's been three points, so they've just thought, sod it, let's throw three lights on it. But they're the worst, tackiest, shittiest lights I've ever seen in my That'd life. Plastic, they want it to be glass. Exactly. Oh, another little feature I've just noticed. Now you've got the that door over there that we just saw a minute ago. It's got the matching glass to that. But also, oh, that's matching with the circles on as well. But look at this back. It's felted look. It's like felt back. It's lovely. Is it felt or velvet? Vel velvet, whatever. Velvet. It's 
It's velvet. It's velvet it's halfway velvet. through. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't, I don't understand why there would have been a curtain. Like, would he sit in here privately? Like I said, this is when it were an house, I suppose, wouldn't it? Yeah, but why would it have a curtain? I, just, I, don't, just I don't understand. Just come and have a quiet, because you have your fire there. That's the other thing that's annoying me about that. That radiator, that radiator is winding me up because it would have had a big roaring fire and it's been blocked up. Oh yeah, it's been bolted on underneath there, a big metal bit. But yeah, you'd have had a fire down there. It would have been all cosy in here and you'd have shut yourself off. Maybe come and read a book, sat in here. No, because if you think about it, it's a big room. So you open that curtain and it's going to be freezing in there. But if you shut the curtain, it'll keep all the heat in and it'll be lovely and cosy. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. So that's what we've solved the mystery. Probably. Yeah, all the old coving up there as well. Is it coving? People have told us the answer and I've still forgotten. I think it is coving. It's coving. People tell us all the time. Oh, look, grape theme again up there. Same as all the um, bits around at the bottom of the stairs. This must be a hatch. Oh, well, so it's actually supposed to have a hole in it, yeah. yeah. Thought somebody just kicked it in. Yeah, because that's down to the cellar. I remember seeing that a minute ago. It's Look at parquet flooring on here as well. What the hell? Oh, that is a big ass. Is it metal? Yeah. Oh, the whole door's metal. Is it metal? Whole door's metal. That's strange. That's almost like a, look at that it's handle. Like it's like a safe. If that's a safe, that is the biggest safe I've ever seen. Other than in like in a bank. But for like a personal house. Personal house, yeah. That is massive. Cause it's got big it's key on it there look as well. Why would you have a key on an internal door like that anyway? And if this is original. Well, yeah, because in fact, that door would shut in front of that door, wouldn't it? You can see where it's, yeah. that's the mark where that's been leaning up against it and it's flat log, they flattened it off. So it sits nicely against there. Yeah. So it, it, I bet it's a safe. I bet it's a safe and I bet they've done that to like make it look just like a regular door into a regular room so they're not gonna get burglarized. Burglarized? <laughs> not gonna get buggered. <laughs> what? I'm going to bug you for your money. Look at colouring in here now. It's going green. Oh, it's because there's, look. There's a skylight. That's where our water's coming in. You're looking where you get to? Yeah, not that way. That's oh, and there's bars on windows here as well, look. Don't look like coming there, it don't. No, it'll, it'll be self-contained. There could be some right stuff in there that you just don't even know what it is. Yeah. We reckon this is... Main entrance then, look. No? No, in that, oh, I thought that were a big door. <laughs> Are you sure that weren't a big door at some point? Or is it shelves? I, I thought it was a door when I first came in. It's not. Do you reckon, oh. Oh look, it's had. What's that? A rail. Oh yeah. From that side to that side. So what would you keep in that? Really long trousers. <laughs> no, but it's not for clothes, surely. What can it be for? Like, because they don't look old. Like, really? Oh, I don't know. Oh, they are. I don't know. I think they might be. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but it's had doors on it. So maybe it were clothes. But it's a very shallow, like, wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah. And then look, it's, it's like mock Tudor, isn't it, round the top? Oh my God, I've not noticed that. Look at the size of that fireplace. No, that's a fire, that's a proper fireplace. Yeah. Oh, look at the tiles on the floor. I like them. Go straight up. Yeah. Do like a good chimney. Imagine sending little boys up there to go and clean it. You can't that, imagine. That, that's your previous life, that. What? A chimney sweep. <laughs> Do you really think that going up tight spaces is my thing? I said in the previous life, not this one. Well, yeah. Maybe I died up there. Maybe I was a little chimney sweep and I died in there. Yeah, they're popping. And that's, that. that's why I'm scared of like, tight spots now. I see you. It could, could well be. I think you're right, mate. I think you've hit the nail right on the head with that. What's, what's your thoughts on reincarnation? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's your thoughts. Yeah, I believe in it. Do you? Because I'm going to come back as a, t a can of cream. Carnation milk. Oh, or a tampon. You're vile. You're a vile man. Who would want to come back as a ta <laughs> tampon? <laughs> At least the only way I can get up a fanny. <laughs> no, but tampons, it's not the, where they go that freaks me out. Yeah, but I could be a vampire, so I could just pull it out and go. Oh, that is just vile. Protein. No, but I don't like cotton wool, do I? That, yeah. That's why I don't like them. I think it clots, in it? I don't mind that so much. Clots, are, on it. clots are all right. Don't mind a good clot. I want a bit of blood sport. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Oh, I'll look at that, but then I've just seen something at the top of there as well. Oh, that's good. How long has it been empty, this place? Well, I've seen letters and stuff, 2009. I saw 98, yeah, so if it's 2009. It's 12 years. Yeah. Look at this window. Look at that window. You're walking away from the window. Look at it. Even that matches, look. The style of this window matches up. Yeah. It's been smashed out there. It's door. Yeah, it's fire escape, but there's been plastic put on here. Oh, are these like classrooms? Yeah. Yeah, these have all had the, the character ripped out of them, haven't they? Yeah. This is what I worry about these places. Oh, that's pretty cool, that window. What are you saying? There's something with stained glass in here? Yeah, door, something. Oh, that matches downstairs. Oh, that's lovely as well. I like that. But like I said, there's not very much up here that's been left. Nothing. It's all very plain, very bland. And it always seems to end up like this, doesn't it? All impressed. Yeah. Oh, this is magnificent. I'd love to study here. Come upstairs. Uh, yeah, ripped it out, made it look like shit. Hate it. Yeah. And then I'm a bit worried, look. Oh, yeah, that's all. Sort of rubbish. Yeah. This is what you do. You stick your head in and don't look properly. What's all that? They're them sweets. Sweets, them, is it millions? Or jig, jillion, jigglins? Jig, I don't know what they're called. Yeah. Yeah, it's someone's stuff. They'll leave that, but you never quite know if there's somebody knocking about in these places. And that's why it's always good to have at least two of you here. Yeah. I wouldn't, I don't like it when there's more than two of us, really. Never come on your own. But don't like coming on my own now. Right. I like the look of these little stairs up here. I didn't realise there was another floor above this. I didn't either. I'll have to have a look up there in a minute. But some of these old windows, we've got to be really careful though, look how close we are to everything. But this place is just getting more and more run down. The further up the building we go, the wor it worse it's getting, yeah. More mould. I'm guessing there's water coming in from roof or something. I feel a bit on edge now, do you? I didn't, I didn't before. I don't know whether it's seen where that homeless person will live in. Yeah. Or it's just because it's a mess in here. Getting more and more a mess. Yeah. Right, so we're back at this door. I want to go and have a look out. I just noticed all these. What are they? Oh, study tapes. 1994, Rochdale. They're not really understand what they are. They're like record, voice recordings, I'm guessing. Mm, could be. You know, like of exams? No. Go and have a look out then. You've got to be careful because it lights out here. Right, so we're outside. We've just come out onto the um, fire escape. But you can't escape, can you? No. It don't actually go down. It's weird. It goes up. Yeah. Can't put the light on because obviously people will see us. It's really warm tonight, isn't it? Crazy warm. Yeah. Last week we were like minus four. Yeah, it must be like 
14 degrees or something tonight. It's so warm. But yeah, just really weird. Try and get past your big face. Now you're now moving your face to where I want to show. You're just not helping, are you? You're not helping at all with your <coughs> funny face. Ooh, Ooh, no. Get away from me. So yeah, it just goes up to that door there. And there is literally no way down. I know you can't see anything, really, but it's because we can't be putting lights on out here because we will be spotted straight away. Yeah, there's behind the camera over there on that pole, which is looking at that building. Oh yeah, and there's one. There's a waste, there's a waste ground we've demolished something, but there's a camera in the middle of it. Yeah, down over there somewhere. So I'm gonna be really, really careful. So let's get back inside. Right, so the whole upper section of this building it's just trashed it's not worth showing you anything up here but we haven't been down this bit yet i don't think have we mm -hmm. where does this even come to we just keep seeing big lamp shades, lamp shades. Oh, we haven't definitely haven't been around oh, this yeah. bit have we yeah we've that dis disability lift is. oh where the lift is left down that way, huh? there's more steps down there yeah it's just we more. That way though, I'm sure we stepped over oh this. yeah, in fact we did step over that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we've pretty much done the place. Which is a shame because like I said, if it had been as good as it was downstairs, all over the building, yeah. it would have been amazing. But it's a shame. But still pretty damn amazing downstairs. I'm really impressed with that. I didn't expect it as good as that to be no. fair. Right, let's get back to the car then. Right, well, I've enjoyed that. I thought that was a really good place. Nice and easy. Like I said, upstairs was just trashed. It was just gone. But downstairs just made up for it, didn't it? Literally, yeah. you don't get that many features in a whole building, let alone on one floor in like three rooms or something like that. It was crazy. So good. Um, what have we found out about this place? We found out that it was one architect that did all the buildings around this Majority area. The buildings in the sand and the sewerage. The sewerage as well? The sewerage, I think so. That's what your specs on. Oh. That looks sexy in respect. Don't start researching it while we're filming. You always do this. Don't need to start. I've done it. Yeah, but it's still going to take you 20 minutes to read it. Oh. Oh, look. There you go. Look. Yeah, but you're going to tell me the name of the person. We no, don't want that. It was just an English architect of the early and mid 19th century, born in London and based in Manchester. It was known in great part for his restraint and austere Greek inspired classicism. That'll do then. That's yeah. pretty good. He also designed a few buildings, mainly churches, in the Gothic style. He was also known for master planning and designing many of the houses in the exclusive where we are today. Area. Yeah. Wow. I like Gothic. Gothic's my Gothic's favourite. Lovely. It's brilliant. So, talking about brilliant. Merch. You can't really see it. Shine that torch on me a bit better. I'd take my hoodie off because it's fallen to pieces. But yeah, the new Finders Beepers, you can't say that t-shirts are out. So get on the website and get them. You can get that out of my eyes now because we've seen it. But really, really good. Really comfortable. Hoodies are good as well, unless you're climbing through windows. No and then... shite. <laughs> to be fair, like I said, the amount of times I've been through windows with hood, their muddies on and they've been absolutely fine it's mm. just that one you got a little spike that was sticking in you as you were climbing through and it weren't the biggest of gaps were it to get through so uh, uh, but yeah just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor um so many things that we can do now because of them uh, so it's really really appreciated so manscaped get across use the code beepers it is beepers isn't it beepers uh, all capital letters to get 20% discount on any of their products. Really, really good. So thank you very much to them. Is there anything else you want to say? No. I know. Third channel. We've got a third channel. Oh, yeah. We have got a third bits. channel. Yeah. Beeper Bits. I've got my arms killing. Beeper Bits is basically all the little clips from the last four years, because we're almost four years old as a channel now. Um, all the little funny bits, all the little sort of amazing places we found or just interesting stuff but it's generally less than a minute most of them anything up to about maybe a minute and a half yeah, uh, probably two minutes max that I've seen. yeah but mostly like minute, minute 40 seconds to a minute and a half something like that so if you've got like five minutes in your day and you just need a bit of a pick me up and you want a bit of a smile and you want to see his stupid face just give me a ring i'll get my dick out <sighs> Can't say that. sorry but yeah 
if you if you need a couple of seconds and you ain't got like 40 minutes to watch a video it's a perfect way just to cheer your day yeah. up so get over there subscribe we're on almost 200 subscribers and we haven't even released a video on there yet it comes out start coming out on the first of march first of march so get over there subscribe get your notifications on and you'll have maybe three videos a week i think we're going to schedule three videos a week on there monday wednesday friday is it i think it is so yeah, yeah keep you smiling so that's it and we'll see you later have a nice day. And, yeah, evening as well and maybe night. Yeah. Bye. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates.